light compact and easy to carry. The smaller sink machines are great for cleaning sink and bathtub drains. This machine can run in the horizontal or vertical position depending on the situation. It also is a good idea to protect the counter or flooring when operating in tight places. The machine is equipped with non-marring feet for running in both positions. If you are working with a sink or bathtub drain, it is recommended to use the guide tube which will prevent the cable from scratching the sink or bathtub. To install the guide tube, make sure that the machine is unplugged and the switch is in the off position. Pull the cable from the machine four to five feet. Slide the guide tube over the cable. Make sure that the cable is sticking out of the end of the guide tube before fastening. Align the bracket so that it slips onto the alignment pins Flip the swing washer into place and tighten the Allen head cap screw. When working with a sink or tub drain, you may want to operate the machine in the vertical position. Simply tilt the machine back onto the support pads and you are ready to go. The machine can be ordered with either an on-off toggle switch or the air foot switch. If your machine is equipped with the on-off switch, place the machine in the off position. If you are using a foot switch, do not depress the switch until the cable is in the line to be cleaned. Holding the guide tube with one hand, guide the cable into the opening. To begin cleaning, step on the air foot switch or turn the on-off switch to the on position to start the machine. When cleaning is complete or the clog has been removed, pull the cable back toward the machine. The cable should remain in the pipe. Remove your foot from the air foot switch to stop the machine or turn the toggle switch to the off position. When the machine has come to a complete stop, remove the cable from the pipe and push the cable back into the reel manually. Wrap the guide tube back towards the frame and slide the guide tube into the guide tube holder located on the inside of the lower frame rail. Reminder, never remove the cable or blade from the opening while the machine is running. When you have finished working, turn the machine off at the on-off switch, then unplug the machine. Push the remainder of the cable into the machine to prevent accidental injury or property damage. Each machine has a caution sticker at the forward reverse switch explaining that the forward reverse switch is not an on-off switch. It is a motor reversing switch only. There is also a locking pin that runs through the switch to prevent accidentally flipping the direction while the machine is in operation. You must allow the machine to come to a complete stop before reversing direction. Be sure to replace the locking pin after moving the switch. Failure to do so will result in switch and or motor damage.